What's going on guys? King Flamer back with Raku Sasu and uh, we we're back with the second game of the series of this best out of five and uh, it's gonna be Zeus for player against Green Sea Squash on set and I'm joined by Raku again. What's up buddy? What's up man? Hopefully the uh, player can redeem himself. That was a pretty crazy game. First game. Yeah, that was definitely something like Green Sea Squash pulled something new out of the head and it seemed to work out, so let's see what we got this game. Let's see if it's going to be okay. a 1-1 or a 2-0. Yeah, so, I guess it all comes down to the water, right? It's met it, right? So we got yeah, some water. <laughs> pretty much. And these guys are dogs, man. They're not cats. They're not EE cats like Bone Kiki, who don't like to swim. They don't like to get wet. These guys are some dogs, dude. They want to swim. They want to yeah. like Mediterranean. It's their favorite map. It's the favorite map of high skill players. That's what's up. Yeah. Oh dang, he almost lost that villager. Yeah, you can always micro with a pharaoh to heal it to while it's getting hit. It's like a little nice micro touch you can do on a Microsoft game. We love Microsoft. We're, we're so pro Microsoft, right? We love Oh, them. hell yeah, dude. Micro Warriors. Yeah, we're pro Bill Gates. We straight, love that guy. So, so player goes straight for pigs. Is his, uh, his hunt's not even in sight, so that's why. Yeah, it's too far, but yeah, generally, like if your hunt is not close enough, you, you always go for the picks. It's just the fastest, and it will it, it will never slow down your build pretty much. So you'll be up at the at the right timing. Right. That's just lucky though that Squash saw his uh, hunt right away. Yeah, I mean, it was light, right in the line of sight. That's a nice spot. It's good. It's good. Yeah. So. Foreign food, very standard. You can do three with your pharaoh on the granary, but it's very risky. You have to uh, force drop off villagers. So you generally want to do foreign food and then five of them or foreign wood. And he's going to make a dock with a fifth villager. And you put your pharaoh on the lumber camp. That's yeah. what's up. It's, there's always like tons of boars too on Medit, so. He's gonna be converting all that shit too. Get yeah. all that map control. We can switch to uh Green Sea Squash's uh, point of view real quick and see like he's gonna scout a map real fast. Like we, we can quick play a little bit and see how fast he like just has his entire map here. Just look at that. Plus dude. it's plus it's free food, but then again it, it is meta, so probably gonna be switching all to wood soon. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You just want to put some villagers to the picks and then you switch them to wood and gold eventually when you're aging up. But then there also is the fast heroic build for Aegean water. You, uh, yeah. Drop the armory and go all, all your villagers to pigs really fast. That's true. But yeah, you used to see, actually see it a lot more like two or three years ago. Magic King has missed it. You would, you, would see, you would see Fast Heroic a lot and just like mass seed ships. But I, I feel like people on the strategy just got better. And like people just don't do not do it much anymore. So I'm yeah, not sure if it's not viable it. anymore. But I, think, I feel like it's just really hard to pull off nowadays against the players that we have. It's going up Anubis. I would say shift and sense against really good players. It usually doesn't work. Because you, you can probably like... Well, actually, he has no defense, but yeah. <laughs> He's first up, though. Yeah, he like, is up really fast. But yeah, this is just like standard stat play, to be honest. Like, you're, you're always going to be up around a five minute mark. It's just like something you have to deal with. That's why Egypt has to spam so many docks. And just look at a dock placement. Like, he, his water economy is popper and offering. Like, this is just insane. Um, Yeah, he can like even if he harasses the top two, he's always he's just got the bottom two fully functioning. Like his his fish are super good. Right in front of all of them. Got uh, two. Yeah. Yeah, I would say Green Sea Squash his fish is like insane. Like it's a really nice spawn. They aren't like super close to the shore, like on the EE. But you know like they're they're microbe for the Garrison micro for Egypt, which is like key for him. Yeah. But I'd be popping them out like right away. Yeah. So why you go Anubis on water is because you're gonna be up at five minutes, right? And then you kind of need that that something a little extra to like get yourself up and running on the water again. And that's like the serpents, the sea snakes. Yeah. It's, 
It's like a little backer, fall back on. Yeah. So he's Art Q in uh, cabinets. Not sure if I pronounced that right, but we'll just go with it, I guess. And yeah, some nice hardwood cabinets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he's Art Q in from three docks, and yeah, it's just really nice. Like he's not wasting any ships. He's just like he has them inside until he decides that it's time to pop out and pop off. Serpents. Is oh. So he does have both Ant and Pickaxe. Let's see what player has. Yeah, the same. What's he got at the top? Just a bunch of boars in one spot. Uh, two picks. Oh, yeah. Hiding. So yeah, they're, they're all coming out right now at the same time. And he actually has a bigger mass than player right now. Or maybe like player's boats are kind of scattered around, so maybe it's even. It's nine. Gary. Nah, Greasy's Clutch is actually more right now. Yeah, we're 12 Gary. to 9. 12, yeah. That's good. This is how you play Aggie on water. Into yeah, you. so I've, a lot of people that I play with actually struggle Egypt on water, my, myself included, sometimes. And this is like the way you want to do it. I'll probably like link the recorded game in the description so you guys can watch it and like learn from it. Indeed. But yeah, this is a really good game to learn from from like both sides. By the way, not only the Egypt player, player always always really playing good. Into you. Yeah, now you gotta do the. Oh, you put the snakes on the back. That's Indeed. nice. So now he's gonna like probably just sit on the snakes and just like try to fight. Into you. Pull yeah, you can back, just retreat as he pleases. Into you. Into you. Ooh. This is very even right now. I would even say it's in the favor of player. Yeah, he has to retreat. Yeah. He's much more boats. And he's got dock fire. Yeah, that, that as well. So he's trying to pick up the snakes real quick before uh, they, Green Sea comes back. Easy to kill. Easy to kill too. You. Yeah. You can just focus fire him. It's just nice yeah. to pick him off so that you don't hit him while you're actually fighting his boats. Yeah, because when the shit's going down, sometimes you can't even see them. They're just eating the crap out of the side of your boat. Somehow they take down boat though. So let's take a look I mean, at those the player are big point snakes. of view. See what he's doing. Let's focus on the fight for sure. And yeah, he's picking off the snakes. Readjusting his economy. Macro. You have to like find a right balance between uh, he's popping a restoration, heal up his boats. It does it heals more by the way out of combat, so it kind of depends like where you, when you want to use it. Oh, this kind of risky. Looked like he was gonna try to raid while fighting, but you want to keep all your boats in the fight. Yeah. So what good players do is they pull back the low HP ships away, and then the other boat has to like chases it unless the other player pays attention as well. So it's really just like a battle of micro. So would you be uh, doing anything with your Minotaur during all this? Uh, I mean, probably not, because... Well, I guess scouting. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's actually funny that you mentioned it. He moves it right away. It's as if he's like listening in the future. <laughs> Here's this, dude. But yeah, let's switch back to normal point of view. Into you. In wedge. He's got. In wedge. Look at how low all those ships are. But yeah, Pretty what you can see in like Green Sea Squash's micro right now, or macro, is 19 on wood, which is like the perfect number, 16 on gold. And he's just like setting them up for like a easy second TC while he's still making ships. And I'm pretty sure a player is doing the same. Yeah, he's 23 on wood right now, 13 on gold. I would actually say maybe a little bit more on gold. Or actually, I don't know. He's probably out of queuing from all of them. Yeah, he is. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Actually, these guys have no... <laughs> this is that is insane. These guys have no time to grab DCs even. It's like they're, they're auto queuing from all their docks. Yeah. It's like money water money. always feels like a endurance war. Like who can last the longest, who can play. Yeah, who can, who can like manage this economy the best while still micro in his ships. Yeah, because you look away for like seriously two seconds and you'll you just lose like all your shit. 
Yeah, like right here, for example, if Green Sea turned there, he could have picked up like maybe a few boats, but it's just so hard to do against a really skilled player. Yeah. Let's what do you think the better boat looks, or like which one looks better, the Greek boat or the Egyptian boat? Uh, I would say the Greek boat looks the best. But uh, the cabinet is up there. He's out there for <laughs> sure. <laughs> Doesn't got the like badass ram though, even though the boats don't even. I mean, it's just like that that, that the front of the Tarim dude is it's so sick. It's the eyes. Yeah. It's coming after you. <laughs> Come on. So yeah, there. Oh, he's like, yeah, he's actually doing what you said. He's gonna harass a little bit with a minotaur. Yeah, but he's going up for another TC right now. It's good, but he scouts that, so you you know, players probably gonna try to. He's actually gonna pick up well. this villager. Gang dude, he has a fuckload of boats, but that's because Sea Squash is grabbing that TC. I don't know, what do you think about this? If you give up water, but you, you go hard on land now? It really depends. Like, if you see that your enemy is, like, overcommitting too many ships, like, way too much, then I would say, like, like, like yeah, like, grabbing early TCs is way better. Actually, like, probably, like, most of the time, it's always better to grab early TCs. Like, the earlier you grab it, like, the better it is. But, yeah, it really just depends. Like, you need to find the right balance between the two, land and sea. Like, yeah. he's going to have the ash on villagers right now, but he's going to have to see. So it just really depends. Like, it's a lot of free food, dude. Like, which one is going to scale better? Has to, yeah. Well, he does have a lot of pigs. So he, he is still opting. Like, player has to, like, uh, catch up in TCs right now real quick. He's grabbing. Uh, he's realizing that he's grabbing to TC with 11 villagers right now. And what, you, what both players have to do right now, like, even if you want C, you pretty much have to, like, a lot of villagers on food or whatever resource you need to H up right now. You, you want to jump H's and like boom really hard on three TC's. Sure. It's gonna be like the first person with the, like, the scary army now. The, like the fight's already done for water. Well, I don't know actually. He's still got like good amount of ships. Yeah, players are making more efficient ships though. He realized that he has one water and he wants to take like make full uh take full advantage of it. Minotaur's <laughs> still doing work. And there he is again, dude. Already sees with uh the big golden cool armor. He's not so fast now because he's walking with a minotaur. Yeah, he needs to. Uh, but look at him go right now, dude. He's put the Hermes boots on, man. <laughs> yeah. Dude, see, this is a, this is like the the mind games. Like, all right, I'm grabbing TC, so I'm backing off water. So now player thinks he won, but then actually he keeps queuing up ships, and now he's pushing him back. Yeah, I would actually say in like lower level games this is a really bad thing to do, but in high level games, when you know your limits and you know that you can pull it off and still be in the game, is actually a really good strategy, like you said. But sometimes I w I've just seen like team games that like people just w way co like overcommit way too much on water. Like they'll make like mass seed ships just like take it over and then they're still in one TC, you know? Right. Basically, this will only work if he starts picking off the uh, players' fishing ships. Like you gotta hurt the food income. Yeah. Otherwise, you just wasted time. Pretty much. And your, your team or your opponent is just free booming. Player did make a lot of extra fishing ships though, so those are all going to waste pretty much. Yeah, now he has to switch his uh, villagers to food, either farms or go on a hunt or something. He's grabbing the third now. Third's got a pretty good wall. Yeah, the tree line. He doesn't have the gold right now though, because he's making uh, spearmen to uh, counter this uh, pressure point here. Some slingers. Damn, the oh, yeah, slinger just fell good. down like that. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't, he actually gets pushed back off water, so he doesn't completely take water. And you. This is just like, a tag, man. Level. Yeah, dude. That gold, that rare job, gold armor, man. <laughs> <laughs> it is like giga HP stats, dude. Like. 
But this is like typical high level medic game. Like there's a there's something going on in water, like almost the whole game. They'll drop off probably around if they career heroic, but then you got all these little raids and shit going on on land. Yeah, right now they're pretty much fighting for just like having fish control. But normally like if the TCs are in water range, then you're also actually fighting for that. Because you can shoot yeah. down the TCs with your uh, seed chips if you have the upgrade for it. Yeah, actually, is that... Oh, no, it's not. So, yeah, none of the TCs are in range. That's good. So, like, the only real benefit that player has from it from, like, the... For, like, the first 20 minutes of the game is having fish. But eventually, like, deep late game, you want to actually delete those fishing ships because farmers are just more uh, pop efficient. Oh, I got players trying to take that TC way the fuck over there. <laughs> yeah, he's just he, almost, gonna... he almost had it, too. Yeah. He's just gonna lose all you that. Can, you can see the lions moving the uh, fuck of war. Uh, at, least, at least guy is trying to help. Trying to play. Prostegma. But yeah, players just applying the pressure right now with his uh, hippocons and his tox. Just That's a good do... spot too. There's two golds and then one more gold behind him. Yeah, for sure. And this one is kind of like a dangerous spot. He has to definitely wall this off. Yeah, that one actually sucks because he has, if he raids that, he has to run around the entire tree line just to get back to the TC. Yeah, this tree line is not uh, no bueno. Better bullets can reach it from here to here. Yeah, take that back. I said that was good earlier, but it's kind of. Oh, I thought you said it was bad as well. <laughs> so, so now he, he doesn't have any ships left now, so he's off water completely. Yeah. Oh, he's got him garrison? For those fishing ships. Yeah, yeah, he, he has no cabinets anymore, but yeah, he still has fishing ships, but yeah, they're just going to be taken down one by one eventually, unless he makes siege. Oh, what yeah, a surprise. <laughs> the stocks are actually. But look at help. all the talks. Yeah. I would actually try to pick up these talks instead of the boats. Yeah, because he's going to have to delete the boats anyways. Yeah, pretty much. Get free shots off on the talks. That's a lot of slingers already. They're just throwing these pebbles at him, dude. Get out of there. This is what a good player does as well. You just side both everywhere. Like you, you, you feel like you're like, in like a tunnel. Like you're. Oh. Oh. Talking about tunnels, dude. And there's the underworld passage. Yeah, I like side building. Like even more than this, if you're going beside it as well. Yeah. Just all over the place. <laughs> Got a little gun weed. He's just like, he's blocking Green Sea Squash in from both sides. It's really nice. Oh. I was making a market. Where's that coming out? The, uh, world. Oh, right there. <laughs> Does get here? He has the mig. Yeah, <laughs> he's going for the slinger raid. Right? That's some uh, ESO just in three shit. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, can pick these off one by one too. Oh, he's actually just going for the gold mines, I guess. But he missed this one. Yeah, that was actually a good one. He could just stand right next to the trees. At, well, I don't know. Take too much TC fire. Oh, you can stand right here, but then this army. Well, well the Manticore, Manticore will kind of destroy all these slingers. Agonati suits, man. He's such a beast. Look at these guys. Like, look at them move, dude. Yeah, hard it'd be to. Like always hit something with a fucking sling. Yeah, that, that, this is like, yeah, I don't know. This is like little, little, little sacks with their nuts in it, and just throwing them around. <laughs> little nut sacks, dude. <laughs> just 
some droopy ass with grandpa sex. Just long as fuck, like hang down to your knee. <laughs> well, I was like, what actual sex? Like, 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 well, I guess it's like, dude, th these are the grocery, grocery boys, dude. Like, grocery sex, grocery, uh, grocery bags, dude. Well, they're just like throwing them around, like, dude. They're throwing the fucking the nuts from the nut section, dude. They carry like one apple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like an orange and an apple. <laughs> oh, dude, here comes the catapults. Yeah, or the Hilopoli. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the last of them. And now shenanigans. <laughs> I mean, it bought some time, I guess, to, like, stabilize. Oh, he sent it through the... Nice. Oh. Yeah, there it that's is, good. actually. Like we said, holy shit, yeah. yeah. Oh, there's a NATO though. He's gonna use it. Oh, he's gonna do it in a oh. forward here. I don't know about that. I mean, yeah, you killed the underworld, but. Damn, dude, look at that. <laughs> I just flew. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Yeah, well, well. Is that worth it? We'll look back in like two minutes to see if this catapult destroyed the TC uh, with his villager repairing it. Oh, oh I God. guess Avenger, Captain America. Say it's no. Should come Avenger. Avenger? Avenger. Come, come. Just the big boy. Into you. Into you. <laughs> Did he delete all his ships? Or is he still. Okay. So yeah, he deleted all the ships. He still has all the docks, though. Yeah, but he. he... He's not full population, though. Let's uh, switch to player. Do you ever, like, late game, when you're, like, the guy who lost water, do you ever, like, build some seed ships just to troll late game, kill some shit? I mean, it's a season in range. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, but... you, won't be seeing, you won't be seeing me making, uh, War turtles from Egypt. Does <laughs> 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 this well, anyone actually even make those? <laughs> I think I've seen uh, Iron Maiden one time made like two of those. He was playing Atlantean and he made the Man of War or whatever. Oh, yeah, the Man of War, shoot, yeah. They shoot like lightning onto the shore. It was actually pretty cool. Yeah, it's like a mini Son of Osiris. It's actually not bad at all. I mean, if you're fighting near the coast, you might uh, want to infest in one of these. Yeah. So, Damn. green seed squash. Tapping out. And uh, the score is 1 1 now. <laughs> Towers. Yeah. So that was good for player. That first game was a hard one for him, but he controlled this one pretty good. Yeah. Like you said, he built on both sides. He had so much time because he had to waste his time just like. Killing off all that forward building, and then even the tornado was kind of wasted, I think. Yeah, player pulling it back in the second game. So, so. Uh, I'm taking a look real quick. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, player art is way much more resources. Like, set has no economy boost, like raw or ice, is like no prosperity, no rain. So, you really need to win off, uh, off shifts and sands or serpents or like, uh, Map control. Go to go to the food. See the difference. It actually, it's kind of even actually. until the end. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe because the fishing helped him out, but it was pretty close on the food. Yeah, he did kill the fishing ships again, though, so he had to remake some of them. Some of them. Uh, but yeah, guys. Uh, thanks to the Patreon supporters if you want to be one as well. And look in the description below. Thanks to Johannes Illusion. Uh, lover boy, and that's it, I think. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll see you guys in uh in the next video. Peace out.